Go, 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 Charlie. Go, go. Did you get it? I got it. I got it. Got it. White power just White got... power stone. White. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's so... the strongest. Thank God I got footage of that one. Welcome back, my fellow glitches, to another amazing episode brought to you by Games Glitches. And in today's episode, we're going to take a look at how to obtain the compass of Thanos in the world of Atlas. With this compass of power, you'll be able to summon the final boss, the Kraken, and maybe defeat him. This video will not include the strategy on how to defeat uh, Kraken, but the next upcoming definitely will. Now, I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible and to the point as possible. Please note that obtaining 8 out of 9 stones follows the identical method that I will show in this video. To obtain the 9 out of 9 stone requires you to defeat the ghost ship, the final pre, well, pre-final boss of this game, right before the Kraken. Now, the first things first, what you need to do is acquire yourself an artifact key, which can be acquired from the Power Stone boss. Any island with a Power Stone will have a boss like Hydra, which will drop the Power Stone key. The next thing what you need to find is a golden medallion right here. Once you have located the golden medallion on the island, it signifies that it is a power island that has a power stone. Now, near that medallion, always, you will find a cave. Right here, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I'm running through the cave. Once you have located the cave, now is where the interesting part begins. Please note that if you're having problem finding the cave, that you could also use an exploit. If you click K on your keyboard, you will have a zoomed out camera. And once you roll the wheel on your mouse, you will notice that you could zoom out really far away. And then you could look through things. This is another tactic on finding the cave on the Power Stone Island. Once you're inside the cave, the main strategy is to claim the cave and plop down the bed. If you can do that, then please put the boat as near as possible to where the cave is so you can respawn as close as possible to run back because in many, many cases, people will die. Now, to get across, there's two ways. A, you can grapple hook across and simply pull yourself and click on the stone. Once you click the stone, even if you die, you still get the reward. Another option is running to the right. There's actually a passage over the bridge, but there are usually the damned on the bridge and tons and tons of snakes and scorpions and especially bats that will stop you. To acquire any of these power stones, you actually don't need any gear. As you could see here, ladies and gentlemen, I am running through naked. You just need to simply strategize on how to approach each individual power stone. Now, when you unlock the power stone, the first thing that you get to see is the description of the power stone. It comes with nice little story. Also, you will gain yourself a nice little gem inside of your compass. For every power stone that you unlock, you will gain a brand new dance. You do not need a dance tree to perform these dances. Once you discover the power stone, you will just simply unlock one of the nine dances. There are nine dances in total because there are nine power stones. Now, the first eight out of nine stones are not that problematic because you could simply run into the cave, strategize, and obtain it. The ninth stone can only be obtained by killing the ghost ship, and the ghost ship is actually one of the most problematic mobs in the entire atlas. Also, please note, just on a side note, that food helps with this also. There are plenty of food that increase your run speed so you can get past mobs quicker and increases your defenses and fortitude and so on. So please keep an eye out for good food to help you get through the cave. Now, once you collected all of the stones of power and you have combined yourself a compass of Thanos, you can now go fight yourself a Kraken. This is going to be a separate video because it's going to be an instructional video on how to properly fight a Kraken and what is needed to fight him. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this nice little episode on how to find the compass of Thanos. If you did, hit that like button and I will make sure to upload more Atlas guides and Atlas glitch videos. Thank you all again for watching and please try to have a wonderful 2019.